In this task, we're going to learn how to begin working with QGIS Browser, which is shown here on the screen. The first step in working on a project with geospatial datasets is to organize your workspace. It's important that the datasets are logically organized on the computer and are easy to find. In this task, you'll obtain a copy of the lab data and explore how the data is organized by using QGIS Browser. The interface to QGIS Browser is simple and clean. It's analogous to Windows Explorer but it's designed to view and organize geospatial data specifically. It has several features. First is the file tree located on the left. And one note is your machine may have a different set and number of drives than are shown here, but that's fine. Below these drives are database connections. We're not connected to any databases at the moment. The display window takes up the majority of the window, and this can be used to preview data sets and view metadata. Above the display window, are display tabs. These can allow you to control what information you're seeing in the display window. So let's find the data for this lab. I'm going to navigate to my C drive by expanding it into the Phosphor G Labs folder, into GST 101, expand module 2, and expand the data folder. Now I can see the contents of that data folder. There are two folders, Hiloa and Info and several files with different icons. I can see that there's going to be data on counties and public schools just by reading the file names. But there's more information here. The gray polygon icon indicates this is a vector data set. This other icon indicates that this is a raster data set. This icon can also be used for other file types though, such as XML metadata. In task two, you'll learn more features of QGIS Browser and continue to use it to explore the data and data models in lab two.